Hi everyone, my name is Albert, one of the co-founders of VectorShift. Today we're going to make a chatbot in WhatsApp and walk you through how to do that um, step by step and also, you know, how to do the tool integration in order to achieve that. All right. So the first thing you need to do in VectorShift is to build a simple chatbot. I'm going to make it really quick. I have many other demos that show you how to do this, but a simple chatbot in VectorShift has input, output, knowledge base, and LLM. So let's go ahead and drag these notes out. So the input is like the user question. That's like someone asking, what is vector shift? Go ahead and connect that node to a knowledge base. We're going to find relevant data. Then we're going to pass the data to an LLM, right? And let's go ahead and prompt this LLM answer the question based on context. The question is coming from the input. Let's go ahead and select the input node and context. We're going to go ahead and select the knowledge base. And let's go ahead and pass out the output, which is the answer from what is vector shift back to the user. Let's go ahead and create a knowledge base really quick. I know I'm gonna go really fast here uh, because there's other videos that go very in detail of how to exactly do this step-by-step, -step, but um, you know, you can watch those if you want a more detailed version of that. So because I'm gonna demonstrate a, a vector shift um, you know, chatbot, I'm just gonna put the vector shift URL in here. Let's go ahead and do that. And let's go back to the pipeline. All right, so with this pipeline created, let's go ahead and name this WhatsApp chatbot. The next thing you have to do is click deploy changes. This saves a version of your chat assistant, and then you wanna export it as a chatbot. Let's go ahead and call this WhatsApp chatbot and create chatbot. All right, so now you're on this page. Let's go ahead and click export. The place that you want to interact with now is this piece called Twilio configuration. I'm gonna walk you through this part step-by-step. Step. The first thing you wanna do is to go to resources, go to docs, and this is actually a very helpful resource of VectorShift. For example, we have like a, a page that's written on every single node in VectorShift. So if you're ever confused on what a node does, examples of how to use them, uh, we have one example page all written out on this page. We want to go to chatbots under interfaces and click export chatbot and WhatsApp. And all we got to do is follow this step-by-step, step. but I'm gonna make this video just so that, uh, you know, I know some of you guys prefer video format over this doc format. So step one is prepare your chatbot. You know, we're at this step, right? We've made the chatbot and we have this Twilio box open. Now you want to go into Twilio. You want to log in, right? This is the home page on my Twilio account. And you can just go down here and you see the account SID and the auth token. So let's go ahead and copy account SID and just paste it right here, okay? Then you go to auth token, copy that, and paste it right here. All right, now go ahead and deploy changes. So that saves that version of chatbot. And now we finished uh, this step. Now we want to go to send a WhatsApp message Let's go into messaging, try it out, send a WhatsApp message, all right? And now we're gonna have to connect kind of the, the vector chatbot with this page on Twilio. All right, so go to sandbox settings, and then this is the piece that you wanna paste in from the Twilio webhook URL. So just copy this, paste it right here. All right, so now this piece over here, you need to change uh, because you know you have to paste your VectorShift API key over here. So let's go ahead and go back to VectorShift. Let me log in again. All you gotta do is go to Profile, API Keys, and create an API key. Let me just give it a name, WhatsApp API key, and click Generate. So one thing that's very important is that you need to copy paste this and save this in a secure area. This is a standard practice of API keys. You won't be able to see this again. You're gonna to have to generate a new API key. Um, otherwise, let's go ahead and copy this. Go back to Twilio. All right. And now you take this um, area here and, and replace it with the API key, just like that. All right, and click Save. All right, so we've done this step. We've replaced this with the API key. And now we have to go back to the sandbox. All right, we have to just um, 
copy this, uh, take a picture of this and your WhatsApp app. So let me go ahead and do this. All right. So I'm just going to try to show you this. So like when you take a picture of this, it opens up kind of a WhatsApp screen like this, and it already pre-populates this code, join, collect, sang. You know, it might be a different code for you. And you guys just press send. So I've sent it. And now we're on this page, right? So now um, it says send template message. Let's go ahead and, and send this. And then it sends this sample message of your appointments coming up at 3 p.m. Um, so, you know, I've received it. Let's go ahead and press confirm. Let's go to the next step. So I have to send a template message. Send reply. And there we go. Then we have authenticated it correctly. And now um, press next step. Now we're at this stage. We can now pretend that the WhatsApp interface is like a chatbot uh, that you can find, for example, when you open this chatbot link. So I can go ahead and send like what is vector shift. And over here, right, it's going to query the knowledge base, find the relevant data, send it to the LLM. The LLM is going to generate the response and then uh, send it to the output, and the output's already connected to WhatsApp. So uh, you can pretend it's a chatbot, and then when it's ready, it's going to send the message right back um, into WhatsApp. Let's give it a second. I sent what is back to ship into WhatsApp, and there we go. We have the answer up here right here. Um, you can see, uh, apologies, it's on my phone. Um, it's generated by the LM only. I think the chatbot will be able to generate something as detailed as this. Um, and there we go. So this is kind of the Twilio demo environment. So to actually productionize a chatbot, you have to go ahead and um, move to production. So you, you just go ahead and fill out this Twilio WhatsApp request form, and then you'll be able to actually have a production level chat assistant uh, through WhatsApp. And you can set this up within five, 10 minutes in VectorShift. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, ping me with any questions, always happy to help. Thank you very much.